Yeah. Now today's class we discuss about the software testing lesson two. Previous class we finished the introduction part. What is software testing and what is the model of software testing and what is the software testing definitions? Testing is a process of execution of program with the intent of finding errors and evaluation of software testing. All these are over. And today's class we discuss about the pre uh, effective testing is hard. This topic. So defects are hard to find the effective testing. And when the when are we done with the testing? These are two points are there in this one. So the previously we see the limitations of exhaustive testing, software testing, which makes that nearly impossible to achieve. Effective testing is also not possible. It's hard to implement. What is a careful planning? So these effective and exhaustive are described as follows. Defects are hard to find. The major factor is implementing the effective software testing is many defects are go undetected due to many reasons. Examples certain test conditions are never tested. Secondly, developers must developers become so familiar with the developer system that they overlook the details and leave some parts untested some parts are not tested and like uh, some part of some parts some parts are not tested never tested so these defects are hard to find like that so proper planning for the testing for all conditions should be done and independent testing other than done by developers So this is the effective software testing. Software testing can be done effectively. Don't skip any parts like that. When are we done with the testing? This factor is actually when are we done with the testing? This factor is actually such as for the definition of effective software testing. Since the exhaustive testing is not possible. We don't know what should be the criteria to stop the testing process. Software engineers need more rigorous criteria for determining when sufficient testing has been performed, and moreover, effective testing has a limited factor of cost. In nutshell, criteria to be developed. Next, software testing is a process. Take this topic. Oh. Software development engineering activity is for a quality product. It consists of many processes. Software testing consists of many processes. As we see in the testing goals, software quality is a major driving force. We have to test it. Major type of human testing. So, software testing is a complete process in the top of the software engineering. Therefore, our major concern is to text the to show the testing is not just a phrase in the software development cycle normally performed after coding rather than software testing is a process which runs parallel to a software development life cycle. It's performed after the coding level. One software requirement specification can be documentation can be prepared. Testing process will be started. Next is 
So all the phases of testing life cycle is discussed in detail. Next chapter, the different phases of test life cycle. Here the testing process can be emerged out of development process. The development process. Software testing is a separate part. Testing process runs parallel to software process. Here software testing on process and software development process on process runs parallel. There are two types. One is emerged out of development process, one is parallel. So mainly software testing process can be planned, specified, designed and implemented and quantify it. To ensure the better quality of the software, we must adopt the testing process as considered the following points. The testing process should be organized such, a, such that there is enough time for important and critical features of software. Your testing techniques should be adopted such that these techniques detect maximum bugs. Testing procedure and steps must be defined and documents documented. There must be scope for the continuous process improvement. <coughs> Like that, software testing is a process. Testing techniques should be adopted such that these techniques detect maximum bugs. You can use some techniques to detect the maximum bugs. But this one procedures and steps are defined. Next is the schools of software testing. So software testing has been class classified into some views according to some practitioners. Here are the views and ideas of so schools of software testing. The idea of schools of software testing are Brett Patrick Cord, the scientist has proposed following schools so there are two analytical schools of testing school of testing in this school of testing software is considered as a logical artifact therefore software testing techniques must have a Logistic mathematical form. So structural testing is one example for the school of testing. So this school defines the software testing and a branch of computer science and mathematics. And next one is standard school of testing here yeah. the core beliefs of the school of testing are testing must be managed here yeah. testing must be cost effective and low skilled workers are required direction testing validates the product testing measures the development process here yeah, the standard school of testing <sighs> Core benefits of this system are testing must be managed. So it is cost. It means that testing processes could be repeatable and planned, predictable, and testing is cost effective. Low skill workers require direction. Testing validates the product, measures the development process. This is the standard school of testing benefits. Analytical school, nothing but it is of computer science and mathematics. Like the testing is a branch of the school defense. And here, uh, 
standard school has the school defines the software testing as a manager process the implications of the schools are there must be clear boundaries between the testing and other activities the plans are not changed and complicated program tracking next one is quality school of testing and context driven school of testing agile school of testing quality school of testing is core benefits of this testing is software quality requires discipline testing determines the whether development process is being followed and the implications of the schools are the prefer the quality assurance or testing next context driven school of testing <coughs> Here yeah, the school is based on the concept and testing school should be performed according to the context environment project. The implications of the school are expect changes, adapt testing plans based on the test results, effective and test strategies can be determined, find the research. Testing research requires empirical and psychological study, focus on the skills practice. Context to anything but based on the concept and testing should be performed according to context of the environment and project. Context of the project according to and solutions cannot be of same context. Should is again school of testing based on the software which is being developed by interactive method of the development and delivery. The style process model of software is delivered in a short span of time. Next one is software failing case studies. Software failure when it can be done. Testing failures. First, in September 24, 2004, air traffic control system failure can be occurred. Traffic controllers, some examples where software testing failures are occurred. In September 2004, air traffic control system failure occurred. Here, air traffic controllers in Los Angeles. Some testing is occurred. Welfare management system failure is occurred. July 2004 Government System of Canada They have some management system failure to be occurred Next Northeast Blackout 2003 Some, some failure occurred here Tax system failure occurred Mars Polar Lander failure occurred 1999 NASA Yes, like so many failures are occurred in testings. Software goals can be partitioned as a immediate goals and long term goals. Immediate goals are bug discovery, bug prevention. This is all we discussed. Next one is next chapter software testing terminology and methodology what are the different terminology we can use and what are the different methodology we use in software testing Next, first software testing terminology first definitions like uh, like error box and failure detect is all are it is not uh, synonymous synonyms should not be there interchangeably all these terms are defined below Take different terms, different terminologies there. Here the errors are like failures, defects, bug, fault, error. There are several different different definitions are there for this one. First we take the definition of failure. Failure is nothing but when software is tested, failure is the first term is being used. 
it means that inability of the computer inability of the system or com component to perform the required function inability of the component to perform the required function according to specification in other words when deserves the behavior of the compared specified payload occur so inability of the component next one is fault detected bug failure is a term which is used to describe the problem failure your fault detect and bug no definitions your previously failed nothing but problem in the output side i showed in the 2.1 problem in the output side is called as failure and fault is the condition actually causes the to produce the failure fault is fault causes to produce the failure fault is synonymous with the words defect or bug fault is a synonym of defects or bug fault fault is a condition that actually causes the system to produce the failure for producing failure some of faults will be occurred if fault is occurred the uh, they produce the produce the failure the synonym is called fault is same as a defect as the same as a bug these three are equal when bug is occurred uh, total system produce the failure uh, Just when bug is bug is executed, the failure are generated. Bug is not not always true. Next error. We know the development means makes mistake in any phase. So error is a very gen general term used in the human mistakes. Error causes the bug. Bug in turn causes the failure. error causes the bug bug in turn causes the failure here the we take a module while loop print just case next we take the life cycle of the bug so in the design phase bug has a is come from the previous stage but error can be produced in this stage If the error occurred in the same page on the requirement specification phase, it and it not detect the same phase, the same phase, it results the bug in the next phase. If error occurred in the first phase, bug results in the next phase. The design phase like this. So in the design phase, bug has occurred from the previous stage. error can be produced this one 
Like, likewise, life cycle is there for the bug. So, if error error in the phase is not detected, it passes to the next stage. The coding phase is become the bug. So, errors and bugs are appear and travel through the various stages. Error. So life cycle can be as a two phases. First one is box in the face, and next one is box out in the face. Box in the face, box out in the face. Box in face, box out face. Testing process. Box in face is a first errors in the requirements gathering specification, and errors in the design, errors in the coding. Error in the requirement is a produce a bug. Error in the design is there, produce a bug. Error in the coding is there, produce a bug. These are bugs in the face. These bugs are go to the testing. It results bugs out the face. Result the failure in the classifying the bug and incident of isolating the bug and then dissolve the bug. Bugs are resolved by first uh, testing failure is occurred. So we classify the bug. And then in this instant, we isolate the bug and then dissolve the bug. First, classify the bug, isolate the bug, dissolve the bug. All these bugs are occurred the requirement, gathering specification, design, and coding. After, after testing, these are resolved by classifying, isolating, and dissolving. Like that, bugs in the face and bugs out in the face. So, we see bugs classification and bugs isolation, bug resolution. bug classification in this one we observe the failure and classify the bugs according to the nature and bugs can be critical is unnecessary or many bugs can be resolved here we classify the different bugs here and bug isolation isolation is the activity by which we we locate the module here which uh, where the bug is uh, bug is appears as well as the way we locate the module where the bug is appear classification we classify the bugs according to the nature as well as the way locate the bug So this is known as a bug isolation. We observe the symptoms and backtrack the design of the software and reach the module files which are the bug. So next is bug resolution. Once we have the isolate the bug, we backtrace the design to pinpoint the location of the error. So, bug can be resolved when we have found the exact location of the occurrence. Bugs are resolved when we found the exact location of the occurrence. So, there are different states of the bug. New state, open state, assigned state and deferred state, rejected state, test verified, fixed, reopened. So different states of the bug, new state is there, open state is there, and assigned state is there, and test state is there, reopened, rejected, deferred. The assigned state we take a rejected and deferred. 
and if the, it is reopened go to assign state and then the test test state is there verify state close state is there these are different states of bug new state is nothing but the state is new when the bug is reported first time and open state new state does not verify the bug is genuine when the testing test the leader it approves the bug to be genuine it becomes open assign open bug is become the development team development team verifies the validity if the bug is valid developer assign the job to the fix assign the bug job to fix there is nothing but assign next deferred developer has to assign the to fix the bug check the validity and priority priority of the reported bug is not high here yeah. is rejected here it may possible to developer to rejects the bug after checking its validity rejects the bug bug after checking the validity and this not genuine one next is testing after fixing and valid the bug developer sent back to the testing team for next round of checking next verified and fixed so here the test is out there to be verifies and the reported bugs are fixed or not and reopen here after fixing the testing changes the status to be reopened if the bugs are closed if it can be that when it can be reappears it can be reopened like that next close once the tester has team member confirmed the bug is completely eliminated it can be closed so next topic is why the buggers are, bugs are occurred bug affect the economics of software testing classification based on the critical need stop and testing principles are there and software testing life cycle is there testing planning testing design testing execution post execution testing strategy is there software testing methodology is there next testing life cycle model is there validation activities so this topic we discuss in the next next class and also the next chapter verification validation also we will discuss uh. testing techniques also subscribe to my channel technology education by pvk